just want to share my story. <laughs> to show women that there is such thing as a positive abortion story. I don't feel like a bad person. I don't feel sad. I feel in awe of the fact that I can make a baby. I can make a life. Okay, her name is Emily Lett. She's a 25-year-old uh, gal out of New Jersey. She's making headlines because, yes, she got pregnant. Yes, she had an abortion. And then she decided to film it all and get it out for everyone in the world to see. Let's bring in Gina Phillips. We've also got Faith Goldie on standby for this story, which I don't care how open-minded mm -hmm. you are to the issue of abortion. Uh, this is definitely a, a, an interesting choice of, of roads this gal has gone down. Yeah, as soon as she shared this video, there was a, a, instant outrage. Uh, many people are calling her insane, uh, disgusting, uh, even threats being thrown at her. Uh, there is the other side as well. People saying, wow, you're so brave to have done that on camera. She was trying to show what she calls the positive side of abortion. She says women uh, feel very guilty often when they do have abortions, and she says she feels fine and decided to share her story and what it's actually like to get one. Uh, nonetheless, it's at the center of much, much debate. Yeah, okay. She's 25. Yeah. Um, she does not feel fine. I, I don't care who you are and I don't care how pro-choice you are. Uh, you cannot just feel fine after something like that. It, it is something that would be very emotional for any woman of any uh, situation going through. It's just not one of those cut and dry. And if it is, then you've got some serious, serious issues. Let's bring Faith into this conversation because I think there are some serious issues going on with this girl. Uh, yeah, we can start with her personally and then the video. I mean, personally, she keeps on being referred to as some sort of a former movie actress. Let's be very clear. She was basically a C or D list horror movie actress who featured in films that actually included the slaughter of children and also said things in these movies such as the best way to get over someone is to get under them. But this is all, you know, Plus, she's got she suffered from depression and the yeah. rest of it. She's she's mentally unwell. But all of that aside, I really wish Alex that she actually had filmed uh, 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 something that covered her abortion as opposed to just parts of it. What we saw was from the waist up, her hooing and humming, referring to the doctors performing this procedure as her quote heroes. We did not see what was extracted from her. She said it was early on in her pregnancy. We didn't know it's how much. It's a first much. trimester abortion. First trimester, which means very likely that it was suction aspiration, which means that there was an instrument, a hollow tube that was put into her with knives at the end of it that dismembered the baby, took apart the placenta in pieces, and then was put into a bottle and then discarded. I really wish we would have seen that because then we would have actually seen an abortion being performed in a video and actually had that gone viral. But instead, we got a really skewed idea of what this procedure is. Life. She's 25. She's now an abortion counselor in New Jersey. So now she's, uh, Gina, working mm -hmm. with young women or women who are yes. having to go through the decision. Any woman who has to make the decision or is confronted with making the decision of having to terminate mm -hmm. a pregnancy, mm -hmm. it is not an easy choice for a woman to make. No. Um, what kind of reaction are we hearing for those who are pro-choice who are on the other side of this? I mean, it, right. is Hollywood reacting? Because if this woman becomes a huge celebrity out of this, mm -hmm. Then I got a question where, as a society, well, we're going. Well, I mean, she's already been featured in Cosmopolitan magazine, uh, and a lot of their readers uh, talking about this too. I think even those that are pro-choice are irked by, uh, you know, seeing this in such a quote positive light. I think that uh, by taking away that uh, guilt factor or the sadness that might be involved, I think she's really going to be duping a lot of her clients that sure. will think that this will be a very joyful experience. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, you are uh, stopping a life. And it really disturbed me at the end of the video when she said, wow, you know, I can't believe I was able to create a life. Yeah, uh, she, okay, and then she so snuffed it out very quickly. Yeah. Th then you killed it and you understand that you created life. So uh, that that to me was incredibly disturbing. Um, and so, so there are people on all sides of this. I'd say there are more people uh, pro-choice, disturbed by it, that are talking about it. Yeah, but interestingly, sense. you know, Faith, we have this narcissistic, narcissistic society now that has to document their every move. You know, I went to the That's bathroom, true. I had some toast, I, you know, I'm going to the store, I'm going to have an abortion. Everyone is just documenting their life online, hoping for some kind of validation. And I wonder what she's going to feel like when she's 35. Well, she she actually penned that Cosmo piece, and in it she says that this will remain a special memory for me. Now, um, 
we, we were a society that said, I think, therefore I am. Now it's, I share, therefore I am. Everyone needs mm -hmm. their 15 minutes. But my question is, what kind of society are we that we acknowledge this as a good 15 minutes to display? And this woman, Emily Letts, is not alone. Let's be very clear. There's a British TV star. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, she's not a star up. yet. She yeah. is actually a prostit pregnant prostitute model. How's that for a byline for you? Um, and she is saying, put me on your reality TV show, Britain, and I will perform. I will have an abortion performed on live television. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is now where we're going as a society. And if folks at home who are pro-choice think that this is a fair um, um, handling of the well, debate. To, to belittle what this really is it just it to mm -hmm. abortion is such a personal choice but it's such a monumentally big choice and we just cannot uh you know just kind of cast it off Slug as like off. something we do just yeah. something we do on a friday night well, well this exactly. this this woman you know she said that she was early on in her pregnancy we don't know but if i mean it was anywhere three weeks or afterwards that thing inside of you emily had a heartbeat so um you know i don't know how many women have two heads and two hearts but um if you think it's your body your choice that's great but perhaps you need to figure out you know difference in dna and blood types and science i don't know mm -hmm. rather than sensationalizing this whole thing yeah, yeah and that's where we're going and i i will let's keep an eye on this one because i'll be mm -hmm. curious to know where she goes from here she's obviously got some issues she's got suffers yeah. depression and i don't know who's watching her but uh, clearly someone should because Absolutely. I think I think the media storm that's going to come upon her oh, and there's a lot of reaction it. from mm -hmm. communities, she may not be prepared for it. Well, that woman that go. you mentioned, Faith, British yeah. escort, Josie Cunningham, this is her behind me, uh, wants to be on Big Brother, uh, says she will get an abortion just to be famous and be on the show. Well, a lot of people saying they will boycott Big Brother if, in and fact, she And it would be irresponsible the for them to condone that kind of yeah. behavior. I mean, really, and we take a responsibility as a media uh, of giving kind of star power to these people. Take yes. the power away. We have a responsibility in that way. March for Life tomorrow. Yeah, we will so be So folks will be talking that. about this. Don't you worry. Faith Goley will be a big part of that. We will cover that event, of course, here on Sun News Network. We're going to take a quick break. We will be back after this.